Hit that subscribe button and bell icon so you never miss an update from Neela Bakore Tutorials. In this video, we'll talk about sea loam, how many different types of sea loams are present and we'll try to understand the diversity in animal kingdom. So the parameter that we are talking of here is sea loam, which is commonly known as the body cavity. And we classify these sea loams on the basis of how they are formed and then the origin. So the first, on the first parameter, that is uh, how this uh, body cavity is formed, whether it is present or not, we can have organisms which are acelomates. Acelomates means there is no cavity or in other words, we can say that this cavity is filled with cells. So let us say this is the outermost layer that is the body wall. It is made up of ectoderm. The inner one which is the lining of the elementary canal and this is <coughs> sorry the endoderm. Now the space between these two layers is the body cavity. If this cavity doesn't exist or in other words if there are cells which are filled inside. So such organisms are termed as acelomates. that means there is no body cavity. And in this, we take the example of all the animals up to flatworms. That means, if we remember the sequence of the phylums, we start with Porifera, then we come to Nidaria, Tenophora, and Platyhelminth. So these phyla are acelomates. That means there is no body cavity. The cavity is filled with cells. So there is no cavity that exists. The second type is called pseudocelomates. Pseudocelomates. Pseudo is false and coelom is again for body cavity. So again, if we talk of, say this is the ectoderm and the inner one, the digestive system is this endoderm. So cavity is there, but this cavity is not completely lined with mesoderm. So here we write cavity not lined with the mesoderm. Mesoderm is the middle layer which has to line. So cavity exists but this mesoderm is not there. The mesoderm could be scattered anywhere. It could just line apart or only one layer. So there is a cavity but it is not true coelom or true body cavity. Now this pseudocelom, there is one more modification and we call those animals as hemocelomates. Hemocelomates. In hemocelomates what happens is true body cavity, that is the true coelom is reduced and the cavity which is there is false coelom, that means it is pseudo silo and it is filled with blood now this blood is not necessarily red blood which we have in our case so this is a cavity which is filled with blood and we find this in two phylums so this is this hemocele is known or is found in arthropods and mollusks or mollusca. So in these two phyla, the body cavity is uh, false, pseudocino, and it is filled with a fluid which is known as blood. In case of arthropods, it is whitish, colorless, whereas in mollus, the pigment is present, so it gives a little bluish color. Now the fourth type, that is the true coelom, and this is known as eucelomate. So these animals, they are called eucelomate. They are true, they have true body cavity. Now what exactly is meant by true body cavity? True body cavity 
it means it is lined with mesoderm from all the sides. So again, if we draw the same structure, this line represents the ectoderm. Digestive system, that is the elementary canal, has endoderm. And now this cavity. Cavity is lined with mesoderm. So here also there is a layer completely lining and here also. So this cavity now which has been lined with mesoderm from all the sides, this becomes the true serum. And these two layers, the peritoneal layers, they are the mesoderma. So this is the outer one which is the parietal perito peritoneum and the inner one is known as visceral. Parietal peritoneum and the inner one is visceral peritoneum. So this is the true serum which is lined with mesoderm from all the sides. Now how are these u coelomates formed? How is this mesoderm formed? So this is on the basis of how the cavity is, whether it is a cavity or not. If not, then a coelomate and if cavity is present, is it true or not? Now on the basis of origin, on the basis of origin, again we can have the cavities uh, classified into two categories. We can call that coelom, schizocele or enterocele. Schizocele is the coelom or body cavity which is formed by splitting of splitting of mesoderm. Now what exactly we mean by this? If I draw it here, then again let us draw the same thing. This outer is ectoderm, the inner one is endoderm and the mesoderm this is a mass of cells and now there is splitting. Because of the splitting what happens is the mesodermal cells they develop a cavity and this layer will go closer to ectoderm, this will go closer to endoderm and this is going to be the coelom. That is the mesodermal mass splits and a cavity develops here. And enterocele is the cavity Silo has a part of Archentron. Archentron is the cavity of gastrula. So it has a part of that which is included in the body cavity and then it is known as enterocele. Enterocele is seen in case of echinoderms and chordates. That means again Echinoderms and chordates are closest according to the evolution, how the structures have developed. And all other phyla which have body cavity, they would come under the animals which show schizocele. So we can classify this coelom on the basis of whether it is true or not, whether it exists or not. And secondly, on the basis of origin, how exactly this cavity originates. If it is formed by the splitting of mesodermal mass, then we call it schizocele. All animals except uh, echinoderms and chordates, that means all animals which have body cavity except these two will come here. And enterocele is, it is true body cavity lined with mesoderm, but it also includes a part of archentron, that is the cavity which is there in gastrula. Then it is known as enterocele. So this is how we classify the animals on the basis of coelom. This is another parameter. Now in the next part we will take a couple of more parameters.